Hello friends! Welcome to another Smiling Colors video. I'm Smita and today I'm sharing a favorite technique of mine, how to watch a color with Tombow pens. I'll walk you through the steps on how I created these watercolored flowers in my sketchbook, what papers and colors I used, so let's get started. Tombow just released two new sets of their ever popular dual brush pens, a pastel and a galaxy set. Since I'm on the design team, I got my hands on them early and I did some quick hand lettering with each set to get an idea of how these colors go together. I personally love both these color sets and you can click on the link that will pop up in the right hand corner now to see exactly what color numbers are included in each of these sets. Now if you already own the set with all the 96 colors, you're good. These pens are already part of those 96 colors, they're just being packaged and sold as a set of 10. To do my watercoloring, I'm using a mixed media sketchbook. I also have my blending palette and a water mister. I have a round watercoloring brush and I list all the supplies I use in my blog post at smilingcolors.com. I'm using the Galaxy Dual Brush Pen set today. It comes with these 9 beautiful colors and also a colorless blender pen is included in the set. I won't be using that blender pen in this video, but I have previous videos in which I show how to use it and I will link to a few of those below for you to check out. Now I'm going to create a paint palette of sorts and to do that I am simply scribbling each of the colors of the jewel brush pens onto the palette. If you don't have this blending palette, you can use a sheet of wax paper, a painter's palette pad, an acrylic stamp block or simply even a laminated sheet of paper as well. You just want a slick surface that won't absorb the pigment colors. This blending palette though is really not expensive and it's easily available on the Tombow website. And I always carry one with my dual brush pens. Okay, now I have 9 colors ready to go. I'll be misting some water on top of these and picking up my color onto my paintbrush. I'm first going to start by creating a background grayish area by picking up the color from the palette and then painting it onto the paper. Next I'm misting the pink colors and I'll start adding flower shapes. I do have a light pencil sketch outline already here. It kind of helps me know where I want the big flowers to be. Flowers in general have multiple shades of color and so every time I'm picking up the color from the palette, I mix a few colors to create new shades. This way my flower has some more variation in color and a little depth to it. I always give the color a few seconds to dry and absorb, so you see me alternating between the two flowers here. I really love these pink shades and though this set is made with the galaxy in mind, I thought the color scheme would translate well with some flowers and leaves as well. Now this is the basic process I'm going to follow for the entire sketch. I'm going to speed up the video here as I paint the large leaves, the smaller leaves, and the even smaller filler leaves. One thing I want to mention, I'm not bringing too much water to my paper. Even though I'm using a mixed media sketchbook today, this particular paper tends to warp or pill if I add too much water to it. It tolerates a small to medium amount of water, just not too too much. If you really want a soft dreamy watercolor effect, you should always use a heavier weight watercolor paper. But that wasn't the look I had in mind today. I wanted my colors to be vibrant a bit and I didn't want to water down the colors too much. There are so many fun techniques you can try with these pens, which is why I love them so much. Okay, back to my sketch. I'm adding a few details to the leaves with the gray dual brush pen. You want to make sure that your painting has dried before you bring the pen to it, otherwise, the pen, otherwise when you draw the lines, the lines will start to bleed. I found the marker tip to be great for this purpose and I love that you have the exact same colors that you just watercolored with to use as a marker now. How cool is that? Adding marker details is personally my style and this is a step that you could do if you want or you could skip altogether. I always like to define my flowers with a black outline though and I'm using the mono drawing pen with the finest tip, the 01 size. These pens come with a set of three pens of various thicknesses, 05, 03 and 01. 
I'm using the 01 here now and I'm doodling thin lines into the leaves. You could instead also use the same colored jewel brush pen itself to add some details or a fine paint brush too. To add a hand lettered phrase to this, I'm using the mono drawing pen in 05 thickness and lettering my alphabet slowly. Going slow keeps your hand steady and the lines neat. Finally, since I've added so many grey and black details, I'm adding a few dots of white to the center of the flowers using some watercolors. You could use a white paint pen or a gel pen too. And this is how my finished watercolor sketch turned out. For me, sitting down with my sketchbook is therapeutic actually. When, when I feel like things are getting crazy with the kids, school, home and life in general, I like to steal 30 minutes to myself. Just me, my paintbrush and colors is what I need to make me a better me, I guess. Give this video a thumbs up please and if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a great day and happy crafting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and for more information visit my website www.smilingcolors.com.